Stan Jibalisco here, <clears throat> anticipating on this third day of October 2013 in the Black Hills of Dakota Territory, United States of America, a massive winter storm which could very well cause a power failure. We're expecting up to three feet, possibly even more than three feet in some locations. That's about a meter of snow wet snow along with winds uh, presumably gusting to 60 miles an hour. That would be a good solid gale. In any case, uh, if we do get a power failure, there's something that I'm going to take advantage of. And that is the fact, if, particularly if it's a widespread power outage, all of the electromagnetic noise caused by the power lines will vanish. Now that means, except for the very few people who might use, be using generators, well I have a generator but I'll switch mine off and go to batteries for this experiment. That is an audio preamplifier that I ordered from Radio Shack. The input of that amplifier will go to an antenna. Now here's the input over here, left and right phono uh, jacks. I will simply stuff a 100 foot wire, the one end of it, into both ends of this. Uh, it's actually a lamp cord, so I've got two wires. I'll stick one in the left and one in the right, make sure I get them both. Run it out to a, up, maybe throw it over a tree or something like that. And use that as a baseband receiving antenna. Then this very sensitive audio preamplifier will will boost that signal and then I can feed it either to a pair of amplified speakers which I also bought uh, which right now I'm using on my computer upstairs I'll plug that in and use that with battery power or I will uh, boost it with this uh, 30 watt amplifier now you can't really see where all these cords go, but trust me, the output of this goes to the input of that. And then they, each one of them has 12 volts DC. They run off of 12 volts DC and they have, of course, adapters that you can plug into the alternating current utility outlet. But seeing as those alternating current utility outlets will be deliberately killed by me, in addition to the power failure, I will turn my generator off try to minimize all electromagnetic noise from the power lines which would otherwise uh, interfere with receiving baseband electromagnetic energy which is something that ordinarily you have to go to the boondocks in order to do because power lines anywhere nearby can interfere with them but of course if there's no active power line within 50 miles or 80 kilometers something like that no problem then these two six volt batteries i'll just hack those cords to those adapters i'll make sure i get the polarity right connect these two six volt batteries in series power up these amplifiers this uh, has speaker output so i can connect a small speaker without uh, internal amplification to that so this whole thing will be a base band electromagnetic receiver and if i'm lucky I will hear things like the aurora, the ionosphere, and all these other phenomena that they say you can hear, but ordinarily you have to go to the mountains uh, far away from any people or out into the desert or into the ocean on a boat and shut everything off. And then presumably I'll hear something besides uh, spherics, atmospheric uh, static. Maybe I'll hear the strange hisses and chirps and and rushing sounds that they say you can hear and if I do hear them and I'll also look at them on a computer as a spectral display on Hamscope or Digipan the spectral display programs that I can use and if that turns out to be really cool if we have the power failure and if this uh, experiment actually works I will make a video of that and uh, let you see it Stan Jibalisco. Ham Radio call sign W1GV, Whiskey One Golf Victor, in case you're curious. Signing off from the Black Hills of Dakota Territory, ski resort town. I reckon they're kind of taken by surprise here on the 3rd of October expecting this kind of a storm. 
Well, if you like snowshoeing, it ought to be good for that, too. So long.